and welcome back. I'm feeling a little goofy today. <laughs> so anyway, just got home 30 minutes early and we have to work from home tomorrow and maybe the next day because it is snowing. Yes. But I have to say that I figured out how to set up my monitors with my work laptop, thank goodness, thanks to one of my coworkers this morning. Because when I, I brought my laptop home, I brought my, what in the world? I think I just saw some orbs, I'm not sure. Anyway, I brought my work laptop home yesterday and I could not hook my monitors up to it for some odd reason. So I'm like, oh great, here we go. And I used the new plug-in device that I had and the one I had to my laptop and it didn't work. So when I got to work this morning, I had to take the laptop with me, of course. And this girl showed me what, what to do. And lo and behold, I was able to connect them. I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm still confused about these orbs. Sometimes I still question, but... I don't, I don't know how to word this. My instinct is when I first see it, that little hair-like thing that I've told you about that I think is the silver cord. Sometimes I look at it and I don't see the orb. All I see is the cord. And so if I don't see the orb, I'm like, wait, is that an orb or a hair? And so I look at it and I'm like, I don't know. And one way I can tell, one of many ways, is when I edit, if I'm looking straight ahead and I see the hair and I don't, one just went by, but I didn't see it. But anyway, I was going to say, if I don't see it on the screen and I'm looking straight ahead and it goes by, then I should see it, that it's an orb. But one just went by and I didn't see it on the screen. So I just don't know. I don't know. But I know they're orbs because I don't have dust. I don't think I don't think I saw that either. I don't have hairs flying around in my apartment or fuzz. Okay, that one was an orb, no doubt, because I saw the orb. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here all night on this video pointing out all of these orbs. It's crazy. And I still kid you not, they go in front of me at work. They get my attention and float off very slowly. Some of them go by fast. Some go in a straight line, straight across. But when I go in the bathroom, the stalls and the walls, everything around the toilet seat is steel, silver steel or metal. I, I guess it's the same thing. And I can see them suckers flying around in the stall with me. And I'm like trying to, well, mentally, I'm like, cover yourself. But I'm like, no, because they've seen it all. And I feel comfortable like that. It's like going to the gynecologist. Uh, they've seen them all. They all look alike, more or less. So it's like nothing. It's like, nah, you know, there's another one. So these orbs are souls. They've seen everything. And like I said before, I was stepping in the shower. I was completely naked, stepping in or fixing to step in. And I saw one come from the mirror. And I like, I'm naked. What's going on? Don't know. Don't know. I have, I don't, I don't even know what to say about that. But I can't wait to edit this one already because I think that they're all over the place. And I'm going to feel really silly if I see one or I don't see one in the whole editing thing. I don't know why I leaned in like I was looking. <laughs> I don't know. Today was kind of a stressful day at work a little bit. Yeah, there's one right here. That was a beady beady one. The, my my pod mate was a little irritable. She denied it, and that's okay. I'm not going to sit there and hound her about it. But she was a little irritable today, and kind of would be a little snappy, as in she just kind of acted like she was jumping on me a little bit. 
and I went all day, didn't say nothing. And then this evening when most of the people were gone, she kind of snapped at me again and was saying, she was standing up looking around because everybody was leaving early because of the snow. And I made a comment. And then she's like, I don't even remember what she said, but I'm like, that's, that's not even close to what I meant. And I said, you're a little snappy today. And then she said that I, I meant, she said, I'm not, and I don't even remember the word she used. And I'm like, no, that's not what I said. I said, I didn't even think that. And I'm just like, what, what in the world? <laughs> I don't understand. And she denied being snappy and I just said, okay. I just kind of let it go. Then I ignored from that point forward until we left. But I'm like, I just wanted to say, if you could hear yourself all day long, the way you talk to me, you would understand that you were a little snappy. Now, I'm not saying anything bad about her. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying anything bad. Everybody gets snappy from time to time. Like when they're under stress, they're gonna be a little snappy. And when they get comfortable with one another, they tend to be snappy at one another. But I'm not belittling her or anything like that. Sometimes it's a normal thing and the people who catch that from the other would rather not. Especially when I have my hard times and everything, I don't want somebody being snappy at me. But at a certain point in your life, you just kind of have to be the sounding board and just kind of reflect it off. Um, I, I like this person. She's a good person. And, and I'm gonna leave it at that. At least working from home tomorrow, I don't have to get up at 5.30. I can get up at six. And get up at 6, 6.15-ish, eat, go to work. Or I can actually get up at 6.30 because I don't have to get dressed or anything, make my breakfast, eat it at the computer, and off I go. I'm still not really used to my hair. At work, it's a whole different color and because of the uh, fluorescent light. Is that what you call it? Maybe? I don't know, but it's close to my hair color, but we'll see. A part of me wants to say that I went somewhere yesterday, last night. I'm not sure, but in the back of my head, I felt like I had a conversation with somebody. Don't know what about, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I went somewhere. I don't know if they just came and spoke to me in my room and wiped my memory, I don't know. But I have got pretty darn good at knowing when I wake up, something happened. And after three years, you would think that I would know, and I do. There's some mornings I wake up and I, I know nothing happened. I just know it without a doubt. It's like the information I get. I don't know where it comes from, but I know it's true and accurate kind of thing. So that's how I feel about this. I know it's true and accurate. It's just a feeling intuition kind of thing I've got. I, I kind of don't think I went anywhere. I just think maybe I had a conversation with somebody. That's what I think. Today, it was kind of, I pushed myself to, to work from when I sit down all the way until I get off. But sometimes I do the burnout kind of thing and I go slower toward the end of the day. But the last 10 minutes, I'm like, oh, this is killing me. And I really just had to push it. But I, like I said, I got off 30 minutes early. So I'm okay with that. This video is gonna be everywhere. And I don't even know if you guys like that because not a lot of you leave comments. Giuseppe leaves a lot of comments now. I think he comments on every video that I make. Thank you, Giuseppe. Appreciate you. <laughs> but, I mean, I just don't know. I was in bed last night, beating my head up, thinking, what can I do? What can I do? And I have, I have a tripod over here. I have this one that I'm on. I can leave it here. And I think I have another tripod somewhere. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna set these up randomly around the house and go from there and talk to you guys. The only thing is, is if I'm far away from my phone, I'm gonna sound funny. So I need to get a cordless mic, a wireless mic. That's my next investment, I assume. The last one I got just did not work well. I would turn it on, it would stop working right in the middle of my videos 
and here I am going in 30 minutes long and then going to edit it and five minutes in it quit working and I didn't like that and I have a wired one it's pretty long but my hair's long I guess I could put it down lower on my shirt possibly I could try that I was going to say because my hair goes across it and you can hear it rubbing constantly so we'll see how it goes but I think I might do that because you know I could cook and eat and do whatever else and take you around the house with me and all kinds of other stuff I might do that I might find all my tripods tonight and do that and I hope you're liking this video so far because I am just talking about all kinds of stuff I am feeling a lot better than I was this weekend, that's for sure. I feel positive, I feel alive, I feel happy. This weekend was pretty difficult and I think because I went on a ship and, and going from here to there and back, I think maybe that was draining me or something. I don't know. I don't know how to think about that. But I, I want to stress how much these beings love us it's no don't get me wrong there's bad extraterrestrials too but the ones the good ones there's more good than bad in my opinion they have such unconditional love that you can actually feel it just pouring into you it feels so good it's nothing that we feel here and i just want if any of you are scared of these extraterrestrials don't be have no fear whatsoever because if you have fear they won't come around but once you have no fear you feel that love and then you start seeing them and it's like this is amazing it is so amazing especially if it's your star family that comes to see you it's the best feeling ever The another one I, I know these this isn't fuzz I know it's not I know it's not one went by at work about that big around and I was talking to somebody and I could not follow it with my eyes like the other day when I was doing that hypnosis one passed by and I felt safe with her because she's a star seed like me I just followed it to the wall but this girl I couldn't because she'd be like what are you looking at I don't know it would have been very awkward and not to say if somebody else across the room was watching me do it too they'd be like what is she looking at i just wanted to say hello to you guys i'm glad i'm back i'm glad i'm in a better mood and i'm glad that you're back as well i love you guys and i'm going to see if i can try i'm not sure if i could do the uh, extra tripods around the room tomorrow because I go to bed early tonight, get up at 5.30ish, 6 tomorrow, probably 6. And then Thursday, I might try it. On the days that I'm off, I might try it. So with that being said, I'm going to let you go. I love you guys tremendously. And I'm going to send you love, light, and peace. Bye.